I'm Ryan from My Lion Boots. And I'm Di from The Roaming Giraffe. Welcome to Fancourt. We're here at Fancourt in search of the stories and the names behind the history of this beautiful estate, which goes right back to the 1850s. There are a lot of stories to be told here, Ryan. That's so true, Di. Fancourt itself is named after Henry Fancourt White, an Australian back, as you say, from the 1850s who came to this part of the world and was a road engineer, built the Montague Pass and was instrumental in that uh, process. And even to this day here at Fancourt, Henry White is an integral part of, of the ethos of the place and what happens here. Yes, she certainly has a very strong presence still here in all little and big ways on the estate. And even if you go into George, there's evidence of the kind of impact this incredible man had on the whole region. I think, should we go explore, Di? Let's do that. Come with us, let's go see. Taking in our beautiful surroundings, Di and I headed for the manor house in search of Henry Fancourt White. Our first port of call was Jane, the manor house manager, for a lesson in the history of this grand arm of the estate. Jane, uh, what will the visitor coming to the manor house here at Fancourt, what is the experience likely to be in such a beautiful place? The guest experience at the manor house is exclusive. No need is too large or too small for us to cater for, from a Cuban cigar to a warm blanket. The manor house really talks into the history of Fancourt. Yes, it was built in the 1850s and is a national monument. And I believe it was also voted Africa's most romantic hotel. It was. Indeed, I can see why such a lovely place would engender such an experience. Food is an integral part of the manor house experience. So Di and I tracked down sous chef Evolt to find out more. Henry White's is focusing um, on a unique guest experience where we're trying to take a whole evening of uh, creating a atmosphere with not only the flavors of the food but also you know, interacting with the guests from start to end. Henry White was such an integral part of George back in his day in the 1850s um, and the, the community is very much involved in what you guys are preparing here and serving at Henry White's. Talk to us a little about your philosophy in terms of sourcing food and things like that. Okay, our main focus is local and also South African. So even though it might not be local farmers markets around the area, which we do also source from, it might also be somewhere in the line of, you know, somewhere in South Africa. So it's mainly farm to table, so local farmers markets that we're trying to support and then also source fresh. So is that where your country basket ethos comes from? Yes, that's basically what that is, yeah. And that's the yes. What are you looking to put on the menu for this experience at Henry White's? Well, we basically got a six course, okay, where we're going from starter right through to from a mousse starter, your main course, <clears throat> sorbet, a little soup, and then um, your dessert. We change the uh, menu monthly, so that also gets myself and the guys, you know, just a little bit more creativity to keep it interesting. Okay, and also seasonally. So winter, a little bit more hearty, warmy. But um, also the main focus is basically to focus on South African flavors, but we do give it sometimes a little bit of a twist. So is it very much a slow cooking, that whole ethos of very much coming back? Yes, we also take like classic dishes and then we yes. just transform it with like a little bit of a South African flair. Uh, touch to it. So Evolt, after hearing all that, we can't wait for our Henry White's experience tonight. So what is on the menu? So I will basically start off with the starter. We've got a Japanese style beef, okay, with a seared Japanese style uh, 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 scallop. Then main course, one of those childhood okay. memories that I was talking yeah, okay. about. It's not the, the, the way that you know back in the day where, yeah, where yeah. they made it, yeah. Dessert, I will say, I'll focus on the local cheeses. There's some nice, yeah, three local cheeses. Well, thank you for your time this afternoon. Great, Apple, thank you. I think, uh, and I are both looking forward to um, enjoying some of the Henry White magic, which we will find this evening here in this beautiful venue we find ourselves in today. With thoughts of our meal now foremost in my mind, I wanted to explore wine pairing options and sat down with Vian Enslin. 
So I'm chatting now to Vian Enslin, who is the restaurant manager here at Henry White's. Vian, we've been chatting to Eovolt um, about the different foods and the, the local focus in the food menu. Talk to us about the wines and the type of wines we will experience here at Henry White's. Well, we've got a vast selection of wines. We've got over 100 wines on our wine menu. And seeing that most of our clientele base is European and American based, we pushing for our own local wines, be it the Pinotage that's only found in South Africa, also exposing the Europeans to their own styles of Rhone blends and Bordeaux like Strandfeld Navigators, excellent uh, Rhone blends, reminiscent of a very good shot in the pub and that came from a French guy that was on his wines a lot, so that was a big compliment. We've got a vast selection of South African sparkling wines that, in my opinion, compete great with any of the French ones. So have you had quite an experience here at Henry Wines? Absolutely, we try and form strong bonds with our guests, being at local international guests. We build up a guest database to stay in touch with the people, letting them know special offers, even sending them special menus that we will personalize to their taste if we get to know them well enough. So very hands-on from the beginning when you enter Andrew White's. Myself will greet you and sit you down in the lounge. We've got quite an extensive range of locally crafted gins. I'll do a gin journey and go through. We have little pairings with different spices and herbs that's in the gin, but just to boost some of the flavor. And then as you spoke to Yevolt, Yevolt will come over, run over the menu with you. And you can sit and enjoy a gin in front of the fire. Yeah, well, we're really looking forward to enjoying the evening this evening at Henry White. Um, I think experience is the name of the game at this place. And, Absolutely. Yeah. No, I can't wait having you guys so you can experience it tonight. Thank you yeah. so much. Last year we launched Henry White, uh, where we changed the concept, because uh, previously our clients used to look at it as a bit of an expensive restaurant because we offer classic cuisine. So we changed uh, the menu concept to be a fixed menu price with a couple of choices where you're going through five courses. And from classic, we also decided to make it with an African, South African twist. So that at least our, our influences of the Karu and also the garden rotation come through and something that is unique to our region. And we're going to experience, Vian's going to do us a whole gin journey this yes, evening. So yes, I look forward yes. to that. So different know? mixes, not yes, just your gin with yes. uh, lemons. Yeah. Uh, but different garnishes that bring out the flavors, your, bot your botanicals. That I look forward to that. Now fully intrigued about the meal journey awaiting us, Di and I retire to our rooms to freshen up. So dressed and ready for our Henry White experience here this evening. But Di, before we do that, let's go touch base with marketing director Peter Dross. Good idea. Hi Peter. Hello Ryan. Good to see Hi. you. Hello. 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 Here we go. So Peter, we're in the magnificent manor house here at uh, Henry White's. Um, talk to me about the whole Henry White's experience and how it fits into the larger offering here at Fancourt. Well, I think that the concept or the principle around the restaurants is that each one is unique. So for our guests that spend time here, they go for three, four, five days, sometimes even a bit longer, but they have different options when it comes to choosing their dining experiences. Mm. So whether it's La Cantina or Monet's, but certainly when you get to Henry White's, it's sort of the, the cream of the crop. The cherry the dining, on the top, eh? From your dining experience when you get here. It's yeah. so completely different to the others. Mm. Uh, so that's when you take taking dining, it's a journey that you experience mm. basically from yeah, it's an absolute journey. So our oh, food philosophy, just elevating it slightly, is country basket. So we, you know, we we proudly source from local uh, suppliers, and that's part of your experience here. And we don't want to be other regions of the country. We on the garden route, and uh, it's indeed part of your journey. And it's not just dining. It's actually it's an experience in itself. Absolutely, it's a it's a five course uh, menu. So and great choices and something for everybody's palate. Speaking of journey, Di, uh, we're about to embark upon the gin journey here at the Manor House with Vian. What a good way to start an evening. Indeed. Shall we partake? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. From your starters to uh, your mains and even uh, your desserts that you have is all unique and tailored from, from the local area. Ending our time at Henry White's, I'm reminded of what Harriet Van Horn once said. Cooking is like love, it should be entered into with abandon or not at all.